What's going on everybody? We are back with a brand new video here and I'm just gonna jump right into it, man. I, I don't know what's going on with Kevin Garnett lately. Um, I don't know if he's trying to get in the good graces with Clutch slash the La Media. He's been saying some outlandish stuff. So, <clears throat> this article um, that was sent to me by a good friend of mine from Bleacher Report comes to us from Mr. Andrew Peters. The title of the article is Kevin Garnett Hypes Bronny James After NBA Combine, Combine I'm sorry, Sees Similarities to Kobe Bryant. Kevin Garnett liked what he saw from Bronny James at the NBA Draft Combine. Bronny looks really good. He looks really good. Garnett said on the Ticket and the Truth, which is the podcast um, that he has with Paul Pierce. <clears throat> he said, he looks poised. He looks like he wasn't rattled by everything that was going around. He looks like he's used to the moment. He had a good session where he shot the ball well. Garnett said <laughs> that drafting James son could be worth it due to his genes alone. If I'm a team, bro. I actually, I would actually take a chance on that, Garnett said, because greatness runs through bro's veins. You've got to know at some point he's going to have a growth spurt and it's going to click. <laughs> well, it gets better. Then, <clears throat> compares him to Kobe. Um saying the potential is there even though James did not have the most accomplished high school or college career. Bryant had a great bones, <clears throat> excuse me, and great makeup to build off of, Garnett said. Bronny shows some of that same make. I'm not calling him young Kobe or none of that, but I'm saying that potential so I mean it, it goes on um, to you know talk a little bit about his 40 inch vertical and all this type of stuff um, let me before I get into my reaction to what I read let me just start off by saying that <clears throat> I'm not going to criticize Brian James, because I don't go in on college players like that, which technically he doesn't have an agent, so he still has his amateur status. Um, I'll just say this. I, I'm rooting for the young brother, but not just in basketball. I want him to win in life. You know, he, we all are familiar with the severe health scare that he had that came close to taking him away from his family. And so, with that in mind, literally, every time he gets on the court is a gift. And whether he makes it in the NBA or not, um, I want him to be successful in whatever avenue he chooses. With that being said, I... <clears throat> okay, let me, let me get to finish my assessment. So we know the numbers. He averaged about five points a game. Um, I mean, he wasn't a full-time starter for a USC team that wasn't very good. And honestly, I mean, he's solid. He does a lot of things well. Um, I think there's, there's a potential NBA player in there, a potentially a high-level one, but not yet. I think this is, this is being rushed. Um, and I think he needs some more time to cook in college. Um, and I'll say, I don't think that the attention that has been put on him unnecessarily by his father will necessarily bode well for him whenever that time, because what he's done is paint a target on his back. But nonetheless, again, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for him in whatever he does, um, basketball, whether he 
decides to stay in the draft, but he goes back to school. You just want to see the young brother do well, period. Now, with that being said, let's get back to Kevin Garnett. And respectfully, what the hell are you smoking? And see, this... I have to be careful because I don't... Like I said, I am not going to criticize this young man. But here's the thing. When have we ever seen... We're not talking about Summer League. We're not talking about even the D-League. We're talking about the Combine. And it's, it's hyped up to this degree. And we're talking about whether a team should draft a guy that averaged five points a game in college was solid in high school, but nothing spectacular. Like I said, he's solid, but there's nothing that he does that, that, that leaps off the screen at you. And to sit here <clears throat> for him, and I'm speaking of Kevin Garnett, to sit there and say that, well, <clears throat> because of his father, that's, that's why they should draft him. I mean, that sounds like straight nepotism. How about you draft him because he's good, not because of who his father is? And Lord, I never thought I'd say this, but I have to agree with Kendrick Perkins. Why aren't we? Why wouldn't? Why didn't Scottie Pippen Jr. get that same treatment? What about, you know, Sharif O'Neal or you know, by that logic, then then definitely some team should have drafted Marcus or Jeffrey Jordan, right? Because of the genes, if that's if that's your argument, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. I, I understand why Perk was upset, and 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 they're trying to justify it uh, because <clears throat> uh, who was it? Please go watch Ticket TV's video where he, where Kendrick Perkins was losing his mind over what Ramona Shelburne and Shanae Gumake were saying about Bronny James, but. Um, you're sitting there and saying that they should draft him because of all of these things that don't translate into success on the basketball. He's poised. He's he's used to seeing this. Dude, it's the combine. It's not an actual game. I mean, I get it. There's pressure, yes, because you're trying to um, let these, these, these scouts and whatnot see you. But, I mean, it's... <clears throat> This is not like super high pressure basketball in that sense. And I mean, if these guys, if you played at a high level, you should be used to that anyway. So, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of guys out there who are poised and ready for the moment. And the thing about this, we're just fine because he shot well in a shooting drill. Is I mean, is are we setting the bar that low to where we're talking about he, a player shot the ball well in a drill? Not a game, not a game, not the actual game, not the game tape, not the film footage of him playing and shooting the basketball, not in a team workout where you say, oh, yeah, you know, we're talking about a shooting drill. <clears throat> and I have a problem with that. And then, Kobe Bryant, we're comparing, you say, you bring up Kobe, but then you say you're not comparing him to Kobe. And let's not. Let's not even do that. And I don't, I don't like, it's, it, it oh God. I just, oh, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. You're saying, like, what he said doesn't even make sense. Because, first of all, Kobe was bigger. I mean, he's 6'6". Six, six. Now, granted, if you're trying to say that, well, he wasn't the quickest, he wasn't the, the fastest, he didn't have the biggest hands, or maybe the highest vertical, or he was not the most athletic, it's fine, okay. If you if that and and that the fact that <clears throat> through his work ethic um, and studying and being a student of the game, he transformed himself into the Kobe Bryant that we knew and loved. That we, if that's the argument that you're trying to make, that's one thing. But you didn't draw that parallel. You went on some meandering. I don't know where you were trying to go. Um, I just don't get it. This is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. I mean, I've never seen a player with who's solid from what we've seen at best. 
does a lot of things well. Nothing great. Except potentially this this is the potential to be an elite defender. That you can kind of see. But where you have this many people in the sports media campaigning um, for teams to, to draft him, I've never seen anything like this. And all of this attention, again, it's not doing him any favors because when and if that point he's going to get to the league, there's going to be the perception that it was because of uh, who his father is and not because of the player that he is on the court. And people are going to go after him. It's going to be like, remember with Patrick Beverly when he went at Lonzo Ball in his first game and how bad he looked? It's going to be like that every night. Because everybody is hyping him up and they're turning it into, well, you should draft him just because. Because he speaks so well and he does this. It's almost like, it reminds me of when, uh, was it Jason Collins? That, you know, he came out of the closet and then you got Jerry Stackhouse said, well, I mean, some teams should draft him just be- because he, he said he was gay. Not because of what he can do. I don't understand. I didn't understand what that had to do. You know, him sleeping with dudes got to do with him playing on the court. And I don't understand what, uh, who he's related to. I have a team to do on taking a flyer on him. But especially even though this draft is weak, I mean, there's, there's other players who are simply better at this point. And, and so I, I, huh, I don't get it, y'all. I really don't. And... I feel bad for him um, because at the end of the day, he's the one that's ultimately going to have to deal with what comes on the court. And it may not, he may not get the best reception um, because of these grown-ups needlessly, the, the narrative that they're trying to paint, I'll just say it like that. But I'm sorry, this video ran way longer than I intended. Um, but yeah, when I saw this, I was like, man, I got to say something about this because this is, this is getting crazy. It's getting just to a fever pitch and a, and a point of just absurdity. But um, what do you think about the comments from Kevin Garnett? Do you think about what I had to say about it? And what is your overall take on um, the Bronny James NBA combine slash draft slash professional path to professional journey. Um, let us know in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it. And as always, thank you for spending a few, though this particular video was a little more than a few, so I try not to go too long on these, but uh, moments with us. And um, as always, tell the ones that you love that you love them. Peace.